Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at something that was cut out of the rise of Skywalker, namely the fact that we aren't going to get to see Rey creating her yellow lightsaber. That's today here on Star Wars Coffee. Hello there to all of the returning subscribers, but if you're new to the channel and you're just finding Star Wars Coffee for the first time, be sure to always hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to check out Star Wars Coffee on Twitter and Twitch, and don't forget to check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise. Links are in the description below. Do it! And now let's go to a galaxy far, far away. This is the way. The Rise of Skywalker has finally made its way to Disney Plus after its theatrical run, and now we have all nine of the Skywalker Saga films on Disney+. Plus. I believe the last thing we're waiting for to arrive in terms of theatrical release is Solo, which will be coming later this summer. But with that being the case, fans are re-watching the last installment and the final installment of the Skywalker Saga, The Rise of Skywalker, which for some fans may only be at second viewing and for others may already be in the dozens. However, one of the things that The Rise of Skywalker did was at the very end of the film, give Rey her own lightsaber, a yellow lightsaber, right before she dons the name Rey Skywalker. And what we have is what many fans are calling a missed opportunity in the sense that Rey just gets this yellow lightsaber at the very end of the film and we don't ever get to see her use it. We know that this was the last film of the Skywalker saga, so it just leaves many fans wondering why they would even decide to do that if we are never going to get to see another theatrical version of this character again and if this truly is the end of the Skywalker saga. However, we have some uh, information about why this is from the Lucasfilm's creative art manager who is responsible for the art of books. So he's done the art of The Force Awakens, the art of Solo, The Last Jedi, and of The Rise of Skywalker. And his name is, I'm going to totally butcher this name, but it's Phil Shostak. And he um, took to Twitter to respond to some of the criticism and some of the questions that was thrown at The Rise of Skywalker for the lack of use of Rey's yellow lightsaber. To which he says, The lightsaber was going to be in more than just one shot at the end. There was going to be a subplot throughout the film showing Rey working on it at her bench using the Jedi texts as a guide. And if you remember her bench, um, what she, what's referring to there is Rey looking at the Jedi texts while she's still on the Resistance base. So, Ajon Kloss is where that would have been taking place. And we only see Rey at that bench for very briefly throughout the whole film due to the fact that this subplot was indeed cut. However, um, the subplot may have been cut from the film, but they do hint at this during the theatrical releases. Or not the theatrical releases, rather the novelization of The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, if you go ahead and read that, either, you know, just as the text, or if you get the audiobook that has all of the sounds and music and everything in it, then you can have um, more attuned to what this story would have been more full fleshed out if it had been done in live action. The novelization is actually really good at adding a lot of stuff to the story, specifically about Rey and the Jedi texts and the fact that Rey um, was able to get Luke's X-Wing working when it was submerged in the water after Luke pulled it out. Many, many little things like that that we were wondering how that had happened. And Rey building her lightsaber is part of that. So with that not being included in the theatrical release and us may or may not ever get to see that uh, shot because we know that that was shot because they haven't released any of the scenes, the deleted scenes for The Rise of Skywalker anywhere yet. It might end up being something we'll have to wait to see for many years down the road just like we had to wait to see Luke building his green lightsaber in Return of the Jedi. But let me know what you guys think about this. Did you want to see that subplot? What did you think about it if you'd read it in the Rise of Skywalker novelization? Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it. And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. 
please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.